All right, that ends this week's meeting. See you next week, guys. Well, I guess I'll be heading back to Themyscira. I guess I should be getting back to the cave as well. Well, it sure is going to be a dark night all alone. You could, uh, swing by the back cave if you want. No, no. I wouldn't want to tie you up. Maybe I'd like that. Is this really happening? Indeed it is, Barry. What's up? How's the Legion of Comic Collectors doing today? Well, today we're doing something a little different, something I like to do once a year, and that's a, a room tour, kind of show you the collection and where it's at. So you come in, and we'll start on the bottom here. And this is mainly a Batman and Superman side. This here is uh, Legends of the Dark Knight. This is uh, where I'm at in that series. So this far through the story, this is uh, annuals and one-shots, stuff like that. That's part of Legends of the Dark Knight that actually goes in a different box. And that's actually some doubles of Batman I got in a mystery box that I haven't got to uh, the box to put away yet. You see, it's sometimes it's hard to get to all the way down to the back of these boxes. But this is all Batman. This is Batman. These are primarily Superman. Uh, this side is like Catwoman, Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing. And these two rows and some of the stuff on top, the short boxes, that's uh, stuff like Batman, Superman, Harley, World's Finest, DC Comics Presents, uh, Batman Animated Series, all that kind of stuff. This box is actually, uh, I guess, newer arrivals that I haven't ordered and either haven't read or put away yet. A lot of it in the back sometimes is uh, stuff I'm reading for the fanboys or stuff that, uh, this is actually for dollar bin trolls, books like that, uh, books that might be kind of hard to put away. Like, this is a pile I've read but haven't put away because it goes all the way in the bottom of this row. Same with these. These go in the bottom of this row with all my 100-page giants. I do have a couple pops and a little bitty Zatanna. I haven't decided where to put the Swamp Thing. But you can see my signs. That's probably the most recognizable one. I usually film right here in my halls. We got Batman. Some more signs you probably recognize from behind me. Matilda Gothica made that. This was a uh, prize, a GP win from Squatchy. It's original cover by him. This, of course, is me, Comic Foo, and Squatchy as zombies. 
very cool. One of my favorite detective comics. The uh, Mixoplex is from Comic Foo. This is uh, the Fanboys plaque. This was made by uh, Poor Mike. Super, super cool. He made one for everybody on the Fanboys with some of our favorite characters. And my Death of Superman poster. I do have a Superman cape that's sort of a pushback. Green Lantern, Justice League. That's a Kyle Rayner that was made by Mat Matilda Gothica 2. And this side, these boxes are up, so I have arm room when I record. But this, this side is a uh, Miscellaneous Heroes. There's a box that's like Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, Martian Manhunter, Starman, Stargirl. The rest of it's all Legion of Superheroes and Flash. This row is all Green Lantern. This is all Teen Titans and Deathstroke all the way down. These two rows, <coughs> not counting the short boxes on top, are all Justice League and Justice Society. And these are miscellaneous stuff. Uh, things like bombshells, uh, DC events, uh, Hellblazer, Sandman, all types of different stuff. I also have, uh, I think it's 8... 11 short boxes and a long box that ain't in here plus a whole bunch of stuff like trades that take up a few shelves at the end of this i might do like a little montage with music to show you some of the stuff that ain't in here but on top this is mainly let me move this out of the way star girl fell down i'll move this so i can show you some stuff move stripe so this box is pretty much uh figures that i've been using recently for videos that i haven't set back up yet this is pretty cool this is a D dc primal age i wanted the uh the book right there and actually i think it's like 20 bucks 25 bucks i managed to get the stand too so I mainly keep uh, variants I like and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like reprints of famous covers. It's my favorite Batgirl. This is Saga. Uh, Comic Foo sent me. We're, we were supposed to do a video on that. We probably will. Another Batgirl. First Justice League reprint. Just different stuff like that. Cool covers kind of look at up on top is figures i do have a tote about 75 percent full of ones that don't fit up here I like the bat cycle uh that's a reverse flash uh red death behind there is a samurai batman i never opened and i, I used to f switch these out pretty regularly but i've sort of settled on ones i like don't rotate them out as much too much this is like a mixture of justice league and justice society sort of heroes that i really like here uh there's unopened stuff in the back then sort of the superman collection you get the bat family behind there are two of my favorites the uh adam and mr terrific i haven't opened as well as a bizarro that i just love how he is in the package back there but when you get through the bat family you sort of get the bat rogues gallery i love this penguin and i love this mr freeze i'm a fan of a lot of these like Clayface, talon that hugo strange is super cool i like that bane and you have some in package stuff some pops a hall of justice the Green Lantern 5-pack. My wife got me that Flash uh, little figure. Behind an elongated man is a Superboy bike that I never opened. And then you sort of have some of my favorite villains like Anna Monitor, Giant Dark Side, Zod's Newer, Mirror Master I just got. Grodd took me forever to find. 
Uh, Deathstroke is probably my favorite figure. Lobo, we have Doomsday and a uh, Devastator behind him, as well as the uh, Batmobile. Just some rides. I do like Harley Pop Harley Quinn Pops. Not a huge pop guy, but I have some. This is my Birds of Prey set that I'll, I'll most likely never open. Love the Birds of Prey. That was like a grail for me to get. These boxes here are miscellaneous. Like one box is like all uh, milestone stuff, like static. Another box has like all my Squatchy and Foo stuff, like my Foo Fur, my Squatchy sketches, different uh, AOKs and like stickers and stuff you would get in those mystery boxes. This box is all uh, DC Black Label that are magazine size and miscellaneous like keys and variants. You know, as you can see, the white Superman in there. And I have stickers from the community. Foo and actual Dracula. Stevie, Choo Choo, Wink. Squatchy Venom. Warlord. Squatch Clan. This box is Slabs. This is a, a camera that Tony sent me that I use sometimes. And this book I actually use to set my phone against if I'm using my phone. So that Slabs up on top is all uh, treasury and a couple Slabs and books that are like either too wide or long to fit with trades are up there. Really do need a better way to store that. So that's pretty much the gist of my collection. I do have like some of my armored figures by my DVDs. I'll probably show you in a little montage coming up. A brief glimpse of like where my trades are and my manga. And just some of my other miscellaneous stuff that don't fit in here. So we'll end with that. But before I show you that, I always want to thank you guys for watching. Appreciate your support of my channel. I would love to hear from you in the comments. And uh, I would also love a thumbs up and a subscription if you haven't already done that. And I hope you enjoy the little montage at the end.